Thanks, Alex. Hello, everyone. What a season this has been. The most hotly contested WSL title race in history. Will it be decided today or will it go right down to the wire? Chelsea, fresh from their FA Cup win last weekend, are in pole position. The title is in their own hands. And if they win today and Manchester United don't beat Manchester City later tonight, then they will lift the trophy once again. Arsenal must win to keep their faint title hopes alive. And if they do win, they'll virtually have secured Champions League football for next season. Hope Powell, it's all on the line. It certainly is all on the line. What a fantastic day we're hoping for today. Two great sides going right to the wire. Big game for both teams today. A lot at stake. You know, let's hope for a good game. So six Chelsea changers from the 4-0 thumping of West Ham, but just two from their FA Cup final victory over Manchester United a week ago. Penilla Harder and Sophie Ingle, who both impressed off the bench in that match, come in for Jesse Fleming and Melanie Leipold. Sam Kerr was the heroine at Wembley once again. She has scored in all three games with Arsenal this season. One enforced change for the visitors. Katrina Kuhl replacing Leah Valti, who becomes the latest addition to Arsenal's lengthy injury list. Small wonder that Jonas Eideval says this has been one of his toughest seasons as a manager in terms of dealing with the sheer number of key absentees. Well, what an emotional moment this is for Magdalena Eriksson, the Chelsea captain, the last time that she will lead the teams out here at Kings Meadow. Confirmed this week that she and Penilla Harder will both be leading the club, leaving the club, I should say, at the end of their contracts this summer. And there is Sam Kerr, so integral once again at Wembley. Hope Powell. Will she be the difference today? Well, she's had a fantastic season, hasn't she? Um, obviously scored the winner in the FA Cup, integral to this Chelsea team. And I'm sure, again, they will be relying on her goal-scoring abilities, her athleticism, and generally her all-round play. What a, season, what a season she's had. What a season Emma Hayes is having once again, looking for her 15th trophy now with Chelsea. And there is Caitlin Ford, one of the Arsenal players who has recently returned from injury and returned in very good form, Hope Powell. Yeah, it's really great to see her back, being out with a hamstring injury, um, scored twice against Everton, has been a real key player for Arsenal before that injury, so it's really great to see her out there today. So here we go then, a Chelsea victory. And Manchester United, failing to win later this evening, will seal the title for the Blues as the players take the knee at the start of this match. The message against racism still clear. Arsenal, it is to get us underway. Where will this match be won and lost, Hope? Well, well goals are going to be the difference, obviously. Um, there's a battle all over the pitch, I think. Certainly, Arsenal's back line have got to deal with Sam Kerr, Peniel Harder. And obviously, Arsenal's back line have got to deal with Arsenal's forward. Black Stenius has found some form. Catelyn Ford back, so it should be an exciting game, both ends. Charles with the throw for Chelsea. Here is Cuthbert. Charles once more. Wrighton's delivery. Zinsberger claims. I think Gura Wrighton will be integral to this uh, Chelsea team. I think she's had the most assist of any player um, this season. So a lot to deal with for uh, Woba Moy on that uh, sort of right back, right side of the three. Going to be a difficult challenge. Yes, the leading assist maker in the WSL this season, Kura Wrighton. Here she is looking for the run of Penilla Harder. 
And Zinsberger claims again. It is a very attacking lineup from Chelsea, isn't it? The fact that they've got Harder, James and Wrighton behind Sam Kerr. She's not pulling any punches, Emma Hayes. No, a really strong squad out there today. Um, Going to be difficult for Arsenal's back line, but they've done really well so far. We'll see where it ends up. Arsenal under pressure. Cuthbert, put in by Moritz and Palova. Vubanoy and Moritz between them. We'll guide the ball away. Good run in behind there. Just great cross, but no one cutting across that near post to get on the end of it for Chelsea. Ingle. Harder won't latch onto it. And another early touch for Zinsberger. Yeah, I'm not sure Arsenal have got out of their half yet. Still trying to build up from the back. Here is Ford. Closed down by Harder, who made such a difference coming off the bench at Wembley. Here now is Lauren James. Kerr wants it. James still going, still going. Can't squeeze it through to Harder in the end. Ingle goes down on the edge of the area. Arsenal try and bring the ball away, but Cuthbert is there for Chelsea. Now Wrighton. Ball in from Kerr. Not quite. Again, I think Chelsea have started really, really brightly. Just going back to uh, Lauren James there on the edge. I'm not sure, quite sure why she didn't take the shot. But there again, Chelsea, Sam Kerr running from deep out wide. Here's uh, Lauren James there. She could have taken the shot, chose not to. Fortunately for Arsenal, they got it clear. Perise. Respite for Arsenal. I think you really got to applaud Arsenal, haven't you? They've had so many injuries this season, um, but still to be in the position they are in the league, you know, they're really working hard to make sure they secure Champions League. They've done brilliantly considering the amount of injuries they've had this season. Here is Kerr, harder, flag stays down. Good save, Zinsberger. The flag eventually is up on the far side. But that combination, of course, they still don't have the Kirby Kerr combination. Frank Kirby still out injured, but harder Kerr is not a bad substitute. <laughs> no, and, and to be fair, in the recent games that Harder's come on, she's been impactful, certainly in the FA Cup. Here is Wrighton. Free kick Chelsea. I think Arsenal are really going to have to show some defensive resilience in this game. Again, the ball's been played mainly in their half. They've got to find an outlet to get them further up the pitch. I think here, Guru right and trying to get through, clipped, leads to the free kick. Perisay's delivery, headed away by Raffaelli. Here is Mielder. Interesting to see her starting again with Buchanan back fit. Yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know whether maybe Buchanan not fully fit, but great to see her out there. Been a great servant for this club and is a great servant for the club. And she has very much impressed since coming in this season. Mara Mielder due to that injury to Millie Bright and Buchanan out at the same time as well. Ruben Moy, casual. Harder, Wrighton, excellent recovering challenge. And Arsenal, all clear. That was well recovered by Volvo Moy. I think the ball should have been played to Sam Kerr. Sam Kerr peeling off to the right. That ball, she was through. If you see here again, no, she's offside. That's a previous clip. It's all Chelsea in these early stages. Yeah. 
anything other than a victory for Emma Hayes' side. And the title will go down to the final day. Manchester United taking on Manchester City this evening. Here is Ford. First chance for Arsenal to burst into the Chelsea half. And they're doing so effectively. Blackstenius still going. Moritz. Cool. McCabe. Well dispossessed by Perese. And James comes back to help out defensively. Ingle. Saw Kerr on the move. And here is Sam Kerr. Still going Kerr. Now Ryson. Deflection. Could have gone anywhere, but it's a goal kick Arsenal. I think this is in transition. Arsenal had a really good bit of build up. That's what Sam Kerr's good at. The ball over the top, off the back shoulder of the, the defender. Tries to go 1v1, then sets it back. Arguably could have gone herself. Raffaele under pressure. James does well. It is an Arsenal throw, but they have started relentlessly. Absolutely. Good bit of play by Raffaele actually holding off Lauren James. Um, ref referee played on, didn't give a free kick. It's interesting, I think, the lineup of Arsenal with playing three at the back and Chelsea playing three up front. It makes it really difficult for them to get out. Charles. Here is Ingle. If you look at Guru Wright and she goes closer to Sam Kerr, makes it really difficult. As the ball over the top is pursued. Vuben Moy just does enough. That was almost two on one there. Harder and Wright and on Vuben Moy. They're living on the edge defensively, Arsenal. They really are. As I was saying, especially as Guru Wright and goes closer in field, close to Sam Kerr. It gives Neve Child a lot of room on this uh, left side. And Arsenal just struggling to deal with that at the moment. Wrighton, Kerr, flag is up. But they're getting closer and closer and closer. Yeah, Arsenal struggling. Certainly Sam Kerr pulling out further to the left, Wrighton going infield, Charles playing higher up. It's causing Arsenal a real problem with that back line. Berger plays down by Blackstenius, who almost forces the error. Ericsson will help out. Well, there we go. You can have all the possession, all the chances. And a slip at the back. And Absolutely. Almost in. Yeah. Credit to Blackstenius. She'll do that all day. She's such a willing runner. Well, it might be Chelsea who have the title in their own hands, but encounters between these sides have been close this season. Finished one all in the WSL at the Emirates. Chelsea prevailed in the FA Cup fifth rounds, but Arsenal won the last meeting and it was a big one. League Cup final at Selhurst Park back in March. The caveat to that, I suppose, hope, and the caveat we've had to add so often with Arsenal as the season has progressed is that lengthening injury list for Fiona Seidevel's side. Yeah, which has been really, really unfortunate to them. As I said before, credit to them. I think they've been magnificent. I think Jonas has dealt with the injuries in the best way he can. He's got some good results with arguably some of his better players not featuring. So, you know, they should be confident with that. Pull over. Challenged by Charles. Here is Ingle, James, Charles, 
Ingle wants more. I don't know if you just see as well, Lauren James now drifted out to the left. Sam Kerr playing more on the right. Their rotation and movement really good. This is the pressure from Blackstinius, a willing runner, as I said before. Did really well to engage the goalkeeper. Just unlucky that nothing came of it. Here comes Chelsea once again. Perise, well dispossessed by Ford. Blackstenius wants it. Blackstenius gets it. And Berger makes the save. Free kick Chelsea as Perise goes down. Well, for all of Chelsea's possession, all of Chelsea's chances, Anka Trim Berger's been the busier goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, she has. You know, Caitlin Ford, as we mentioned before, does really well, great through ball. You've got to say, I think she should score, but credit to Katrin Berger. Spread herself really, really well. Great goal-scoring opportunity. And that's what Arsenal can do. They haven't had much play higher up the pitch, but they can create opportunities. They've just got to take them. Here comes Harder for Chelsea. Cleared away by Jen Beattie. And the pattern of play is resumed. Charles with the throw for Chelsea. Here is James. Cleared away by Vuben Moy. Cuthbert now. Hits her own teammate. Leonard some morning with enough pressure to put off Aaron Cuthbert as Raffaele clears, but it goes straight to a blue shirt once again. Here is Ingle, Wrighton, Charles now to James. Charles once more, Ingle, James. Well, very nice and tidy from Chelsea. Will there be an end product? Charles once more, Cuthbert. Now Ingle. Here is James. Mielder. Ericsson's delivery. Charles collects. Well defended by Moritz, but Chelsea keep up the pressure. Yeah, I think Chelsea as well. They've got to keep shifting that ball. Arsenal in a very, very low block, all players behind the ball. They've got to try and move that central midfield area by getting that ball out wide. Disappointing from Charles. Well, she didn't mince her words after the League Cup final defeat to Arsenal in March. Emma Hayes said that Arsenal's hunger and desire was at a much better intensity. But so far in the opening 15 minutes, you can see that hunger. You can see that desire from Chelsea. They know they have the chance, if Manchester United slip up for later, to wrap up the title today. Yeah, they know the three points are imperative for them today. Three points imperative for Arsenal also, but Chelsea definitely on the front foot in command of this game at this moment, but without the more important goal. Cool's header. Ingle forward, harder. That would have been a cute assist. Zinsberger does well. Under pressure now, Zinsberger. Moritz. Lovely work by Cool. Leonard some morning. Challenge once again by Cuthbert. And here goes Lauren James. 
She's getting into her stride, feeds Kerr. They're trying to walk it in, Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, got to take the, the chances a bit earlier, the opportunities. But Arsenal giving away the ball too cheaply in key areas. We all know that Chelsea very, very good on transition. It came from the ball turnover there. You know, that ball's got to be wrapped around at pace. Otherwise, it's the goalkeepers all day. Brighton, pursued by Cool. Charles trying to get there. Yeah, just that little bit of play there. That's what I was talking about. Brighton goes and tucks herself inside, which allows the fullback, I think, need Charles on that occasion to join in higher up the pitch. Millie Bright, one of those in the stands. Arsenal's injury list is certainly longer, but. Can't underestimate what a big absentee Millie Bright is. Although, as we say, Myron Mielder's come in and, and done very well and is a quality player as well for Chelsea. But positive news from Emma Hayes this week. Thinks that it is likely that Millie Bright will be OK for the World Cup, which is very, very good news for England. Great news for England. Had a fantastic Euro, in my opinion. One of the players of the tournament. That's really good news for England and England fans. And particularly with Leah Williamson out as well, to have Bright missing too would have been a real blow to Serena Vigman. Absolutely. So that's really good news that she'll hopefully be back. Pullover under pressure. Charles. Ingle. Wrighton. Harder. Kerr wants it. Harder has it. Terrace joining the attack. Ingle. Mielda. Charles. Wrighton. So tiring this for Arsenal. Chelsea moving the ball, stretching the play. Yeah, really hard when you haven't got the ball so much easier when you've got it. It's going to be a difficult afternoon unless they can get themselves higher up the pitch, Arsenal. Here goes Charles. Tries to pick out James. I think tactically Chelsea doing so well with Wrighton and, and uh, Lauren James going closer to Sam Kerr and Peniel Harder, it allows the full backs to join in. They've got so much space in wide areas. Mielda tussling with Ford. Brilliant control from the Australian. Axtenius can't follow in kind, but Vibanoi has it. Here is Blackstenius. Cool. Look at Ford racing forwards. Maxenius two. Not quite the right delivery from Katrina Cool, the teenager. Here she is once more. Pullover. Moritz. Ericsson with the header. Leonard Mornum's there. James. Free kick. Yeah, definite free kick there. <laughs> Lauren James is really hard to deal with. I think if she didn't make the foul, she was away. Began her senior career with Arsenal. Lauren James joined them at age 14 from Chelsea. 
Nine appearances and one goal, but was just 16 during that breakthrough season. She was a player that from very early on, you could tell was going to be a special talent. Chelsea with the set piece. Beatty's there. Wrighton's there for Chelsea. Lovely one-two with Harder. Wrighton's delivery. Way once more by Arsenal. Wrighton will have another go. Ford will clear. Look how deep Arsenal are. No red shirt anywhere near the halfway line. Right and on the stretch. Brilliant. Perfectly controlled. Perfectly executed. And Chelsea get the breakthrough their dominance deserves. It's another step towards the title. It's Chelsea 1, Arsenal 0. Great goal. It was coming, wasn't it? Absolutely come in. Chelsea. Ball delivered. From Perise, I think. Great ball in behind. And that is a very, very good finish. Perise right at the back line. Guru Wrighton. First touch in the back of the net. It's a really good goal, actually. But Arsenal sitting too deep. When they're trying to clear it, there's no one to clear it to. You know, generally they play with the three at the back when it's comfortable, but the two wing backs are having to sit too deep to deal with Guru Wrighton and Lauren James coming in centrally. Pernil Harder picking up the spaces in between and Sam Kerr just floating along the line. It's just too much for them. So that goal definitely deserved. Arsenal, we've got some work to do. Her 12th goal of the season. She scored some big ones for Chelsea this campaign. And that will rank right up there. In the biggest moments, says Emma Hayes about Guru Wrighton, in the biggest games this season, she has carried us for large parts of this campaign. It's not been the case this afternoon. All round, it's been a very good performance from Chelsea. But she is a player who has not let her standards slip this season. No, she had a really good season. Acute left foot, a lot of ability. Has been the main assist, top assist in the league. You know, there's a lot about Guru Wright and a very, very good player. No wonder she's been nominated for WSL Player of the Year again this season, along with Sam Kerr and Frida Leonard and Monum of Arsenal. Moritz, how will Arsenal respond? It's really difficult for Arsenal to get out. But now they need a little bit of time on the ball. They keep need to keep moving it, get a good feel for the ball. But they do need players to show their feet or willing runners in behind. Otherwise, they'll get caught. Cool. Given away. Cuthbert. Harder's on the move. So is Kerr. Flag is up. Once again against Sam Kerr. Again, a turnover. This is what Sam Kerr does so well. Likes to run on the back shoulder. She's off side quite a bit in games but she knows if she keeps doing it and the ball comes at the right moment she'll be onto it and score that's her trademark but again Arsenal are giving away the ball a bit too cheaply in key areas we know Chelsea are fantastic in transition played away by Berger again not entirely convincingly. And that is the encouragement for Arsenal that they have had opportunities in this game. Well, this is how things stand in the WSL with that goal. Manchester United against Manchester City still to come. But as it stands, if Manchester United fail to beat Manchester City this evening, then Chelsea will be champions once again for the sixth time in their history. Fantastic record. Um, still all to play for, I must say. You know, they've got to make sure they get the three points here. Here goes Blackstenius. 
Space for Leonard some morning. Good save, Berger, just about. Double save, it had to be. Ford keeps it alive for Arsenal. Leonard some morning, challenged by Ingle. And away by Mielda. And cheers around Kings Meadow, but I'm sure a few sighs of relief as well. Because again, Berger not entirely convincing. She did enough in the end, but that could have gone the other way. Yeah, she did. You know, but credit to Arsenal, they came back. Kate McKay was absolutely screaming her head off. The ball should have been laid to her. She would have had a clean shot. Um, but credit to Arsenal, they're coming back into it. They've realised they've got to get higher up the pitch, keep better possession of the ball, and they do that, they will get chances. And Katrin Berger not convincing with her clearance. You know, put her under pressure. She struggled twice now. Hope, perhaps, for Arsenal. Me? <laughs> I'm not playing today. Not got your boots? In the car. Even the injury list. Here is Pilova. Beating. Ford. The elders clearance. Here is Blackstenius. This is the opportunity here. Kate McCabe on the left, absolutely screaming for it. Berger did well on the second attempt there. Here is Kurt, saved by Zinsberger. Action at both ends. But Zinsberger is getting ever busier. Yeah, she's definitely the busier of the two. Again, Sam Kerr, back shoulder, turns Woven Moy all the way round. No other opportunity but to go for goal. And you, you've got to credit Sam Kerr. She's a willing runner in behind and will, if the opportunities come, will score at some point. Perise with the corner. Curvers in there. Arsenal goal kick. I think that caught Sam Kerr on the top of her head. Not pleasant if you've ever done that as a player. A bit painful. Here again. Marnham. Berger doesn't get it on the first attempt, has to scramble and does really well actually. James, dispossessed by Cool. Now Katie McCabe, Blackstenius. Space for Moritz. Pullover. Moritz. Fell over. McCabe barged into by Lauren James. And that will be an Arsenal free kick. Yeah, definite free kick, I think. I think there's a, an opportunity for... There we go again, a shove in the back, a definite free kick. But there's opportunity when Arsenal get into the mid-final third for Raffaelli to be brave and push on. There's so much space on that left-hand side for Arsenal. Oh, she is up from the back for this one. She is a real threat from set pieces with that height, Raffaelli, the Brazilian centre-half. McCabe and Leonard Simonim, two very good set-piece takers as well. A little too far to go for goal, but you never know. I would I shoot. Cause some stunners. She will go for it. Leonard some morning. Decent try, but Berger watched it all the way. <laughs> yeah, not a bad effort. I would have definitely shot. But yeah, followed it all the way. Quite comfortable in the end, I think.
Burgers clearance again. Not convincing, and Palova goes for it, and Mielda helps out a goalkeeper who might have been getting back. She's got a bit of an issue here. Looks like Anka Trimberger. Yeah, again, she seems to be struggling with her distribution. Um, and I think Arsenal recognise that. Again, tries to play out. But before that, she, you know, Catelyn Ford does really well to apply pressure. Mielda as cool as a cucumber. Well, they do have Zachira Mushevich on the bench, Chelsea, who has been rotated quite a bit with Anka Trimberger this season. Berger is the undisputed number one. She's played in the biggest games. Yeah, she's a fantastic keeper. Charles. Bryson. Scoops it to harder, right and stayed down. Advantage played. Zinsberger's there. Well, you can understand why Amy Fern did play advantage. Didn't pay yeah. off for Chelsea. Right and is back up to her feet as Arsenal come forward. Berger out very quickly that time. Flag is up. But that is good goalkeeping. Very good. Quick off her line. needed to be Ka Caitlin Ford is such a willing runner good player forward by Pelova Mielder's there over the head of Wrighton now Amy Fern is just telling that's not to restart. A yellow card has been shown to Sam Kerr. Oh. So, not an on-the-ball incident. Whether Sam Kerr has said anything to referee Amy Fern? Yeah, didn't see anything. Yep, yellow card. Chelsea throw. Harder. Well played again by 19-year-old Katrina Cool. James has it though. Charles back to James. Here is Charles. Raphael is there. Didn't quite get the purchase on it. Offside flag is up as Wrighton's effort was blocked. Guru Wrighton looks like she's in a bit of trouble there just about getting up to her feet. Arsenal playing on. Here is Moritz. Pelova. Cool. Moritz. Fuben Moy. Bryson's all right. <laughs> Nothing Black wrong with that. Leonard Simonum. Raffaele getting forward. Here is Katie McCabe. Forwards on the move. Charles misses the header. Here is Moritz. Cleared away by Ericsson. So much better from Arsenal when they possess that ball higher up. Well, do we go long? Do we go short? Arsenal finally decide. And they'll get another go with Moritz. This time, they don't make the most of it, and that's poor. Yeah, that's really poor. Really basic. You don't get the ball in the final third enough. When you do, you've got to possess it. So catch up on all the action. Will the title be won this weekend? Will relegation be decided as well? If Leicester win, the Reading are down. The women's football show tonight on BBC One. And do join us for WSL Final Day Live. Where the action is, we will be next Saturday.
And of course, the huge Manchester derby this evening that could decide the destination of the title if Chelsea, as they are currently doing so, win here today. Manchester United against Manchester City. You can listen to that live on Five Sports Extra. Sure, she'll be tuning in, Emma Hayes. Although she does love to play at Coy, ahead of them playing West Ham in the week. She said, I, I honestly, I didn't know we could go top if we won until someone told me. Do you believe that for a second, Hope Powell? No, I think as a manager, you know, but it, it's right to play it cool because it isn't over until it's over. Um, so, yeah, she will just make sure she waits until it's a, an absolute. Cuthbert, harder behind Kerr, but right and will pick it up. Here is James, drifting from right to left. Left-hand side now, good delivery. Harder was in there, can't make the most of it. And McCabe will clear for Arsenal. Arsenal just can't seem to string enough passes together. Here is Cuthbert to Kerr. Well dispossessed by Leonard and Mornham. Pullover. James there ahead of McCabe. They're just first to many of those balls at the moment, Chelsea. Here goes Kerr trying to feed harder. Flag is up again. Fine margins. Definitely fine margins. Again, some really good play from Lauren James, Peniel Harder, Sam Kerr, all involved. Cool, almost dispossessed by Charles. Wins it back from Kerr. She's done well, the 19-year-old Danish international. In the side because of injuries, but has been used from the bench for Arsenal as James wins the free kick. Yeah, Catherine Cool, quite Catherine Cool, should I say, quite young. Um, done okay. It's been difficult for her at times. She's got to learn to release it probably a little bit quicker, but a big game for her to start will do her future career no harm whatsoever. Perisay with the free kick for Chelsea. Raffaele is there for Arsenal. Harder. Sinsberger watching. Hesitancy in the Arsenal back line almost cost them. Sinsberger really watched that well, actually. Chelsea with another free kick. Yeah, Caitlin Ford tracking back. Ingle trying to turn her. Definite foul. Well, she scored once. Will she provide an assist? Gura Wrighton. Kerr's in there. And Ericsson's there! What a moment for the Chelsea captain! Her time at her beloved club is coming to an end. But she helps her side take another step towards the title. It's Magdalena Eriksson, it's Chelsea 2, Arsenal 0. Yeah, great ball onside definitely from Guru Wright and her assists have been unbelievable this season. Ball headed back across from Sam Kerr unselfishly and Magdalena Eriksson, I'm delighted for her. She'll be absolutely chuffed with that. Good leap from Sam Kerr, but more importantly, the delivery from Guru Wrighton was spot on. Look at the delight in her face. Great goal. Oh, that will mean so, so much. 
She penned a very heartfelt open letter to the Chelsea fans when it was confirmed this week that she will be leaving this summer after her contract expires. And to play a part at this late stage of the season as Chelsea look to close out another trophy. It would be her 12th in all with the side. Will mean so much. And Chelsea hungry for more goals. Not that time. What a phenomenal record for Chelsea and for her as captain. Um, as you said, she uh, a heartfelt message to, to fans and to the club. Um, I'm sure they'll be sad to see her go. But what an ambassador, what a role model for this club. Arsenal have got some work to do. Here is James. Kerr, flag stays down. Into Vuben Moy, won't fall to Wrighton. BC away for Arsenal. Yeah, that's again Sam Kerr up just on the shoulder. I actually thought it was offside, clearly not. But that is the threat that Arsenal are really struggling to deal with. Flag does this time go up against Lauren James. I think as a manager, you'd be really, you know, if you're the Arsenal manager, yo. Jonas, you'd really want half time to come. Give them a little bit of respite so they can go again. Pelova lost out, but then let's win it back immediately. Axtenius challenged by Mjelda. Referee's happy to let that go. Full dispossessed. Ingle, look at the space for Sam Kerr. She's onside. She drives wide. I think by her standards, you would expect her to do better than that. Probably go the other side. Um, but again, Arsenal dispossessed in, in, in the middle. Chelsea transition very quickly. Just to clarify that yellow card from earlier that we mentioned was actually for Lotta Vuben Moy rather than Sam Kerr. So, Vuben Moy, the only player so far into the book this afternoon. Here is Mielder. Perise. Cuffert. Well, she thought about playing advantage there, referee Amy Fern, but it is a free kick to Chelsea for the foul on Perise. Yeah, that was naughty from Kate McKay. You can see her frustrations coming out there. She's clearly been beaten. And Amy Fern has had enough. Yeah, it's a definite yellow card. Perise was away from her. You know, McKay was chasing. We go, she's chasing. A frustration. There's no way she's going to win the ball that way. And that's a clear yellow card. Plenty to ponder for Jonas Eideval. The title hopes were always faint, but this does open up the door for Manchester City later. They are three points behind Arsenal in that race for the Champions League. A reminder, only the top three qualify in the WSL. So one of those big four will miss out. 
yeah. her side know that they are doing all they can to put on the pressure on Manchester United. Yeah, they got some work to do, Arsenal. They need half time. They need to regroup, perhaps change something. If it's me, I'm going to a four at the back. I always thought that three would be difficult against a Chelsea side who have played it tactically spot on by bringing the two wide players, James and Wrighton, closer to the centre and those full backs getting out wide and overlapping. Wrighton's delivery over the head of Ingle. She's had a good game, Guru. I think everything that's been good about Chelsea has come mainly down this left side. Charles, is there time for one more Chelsea chance before the break? Eriksen wins the header, forward by Leonard St. Mornham. Here she is again for Arsenal. McCabe, Leonard St. Mornham. Arsenal could get a goal back just before half time. That would make things interesting. Ingle doing her best to prevent it. And there is the half time whistle. A lead that on balance reflects Chelsea's dominance and sees them edge closer to that title really putting the pressure on Manchester United this evening who as things stand will have to beat Manchester City to take it to the final day still a half of football to play but goals from Wrighton and Ericsson give Chelsea this advantage at the break Arsenal had their chances but weren't able to take them and Hope Powell it's a big half-time team talk from Jonas Eideval Big Hayes, I'm sure, will be smiling in hurt. Yeah, big talk. Uh, I think he's got to make some changes, perhaps go to a four at the back, secure those wide areas better, and they've really just got to go for it, I think. So, half-time at Kings Meadow. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 0. And they are making a change at half-time. Steph Catley is coming on, and 19-year-old Katrina Cool is coming off, and... Catley, such an experienced player, Hope, a player that really is integral to so much of what Arsenal do when she's given minutes. Yeah. How will she change things or how will Jonas Eide have a hope that she will change things in this second half? I think a little bit perhaps more direct. They, they look like they've still gone three back five, so a little bit more direct bypass that midfield. Join in with Black Stinius, as was said at half time, but really they've just got to go for it, Arsenal. Yes, it allows Katie McCabe to push up as Raffaelli under pressure. Clears away, Catley gets her first touch. And Chelsea will have the throw. Oh, painful one. Leonard some Mornham coming forwards. Yields it. Putting her under pressure. Amy Fern says that's a fair challenge. And James has it for Chelsea. Almost a brilliant ball for Sam Kerr. Cleared away by Moritz. Ford. Laxenius. Back on the charge. Catley with the throw. He was fooled. Raffaelli. Here is McCabe. Two over here for Arsenal, but Ford can't control and the flag is up on the far side anyway. 
Yeah, and I think another good thing about uh, Catley, she has got the energy and the legs to get up, um, which was lacking, I think, in the first half. There again, ball over the top, slightly offside by four, but you can see Catley trying desperately to join in. That's what was missing, certainly, in the first half. Players out wide in those wide areas pushing on. And with McCabe on a yellow card as well, it also takes her out of a more dangerous role, perhaps in that regard, pushing her forward, although she's <laughs> perfectly capable of perhaps picking up a booking for, for several reasons, but certainly she's not got the likes of Guru Wright and running at her while she's on a yellow. No, she's just got to keep a cool head. She's a fantastic player, but her frustrations came out on that yellow. Here goes Catley for Arsenal. Laxtenius is in the centre. Palova's there as well. Ford, touch, then goes down. And it will be a Chelsea goal kick. Well, the chance just ran away from Caitlin Ford, but it was a chance. It was a chance there again. Catley out wide. Willing runner, good delivery. Take the shot, just a little bit unfortunate. Couldn't control it, but it's a chance. They've started brightly, Arsenal. Well, they have fought back in games this season, Arsenal. They did so in the League Cup final against Chelsea, conceded very early on. Did so as well in the WSL against Manchester City. But overall, they have struggled against the rest of the top four this season. But they're not struggling early doors in this second half as Ford won't quite control. And Ericsson will clear for Chelsea. Harder into Moritz, falls to Wrighton. Kerr, Harder, might try and go it alone, Harder, the police support is arriving, she does go it alone, good stop Zinsberger. Well, she's come back from injury in real form, Penilla Harder, and showing it again there. Yeah, good player, likes to work off the shoulder in those wide areas, turns to the defender, Wilbur Moore, and that's a good stop from Zinsberger with her feet, that was going in, good save. Harder's header, cleared away by Katie McCabe. That is the perfect definition of right place, right time. Absolutely, and that's why I believe in having defenders on the post. But it looks like it was actually going wide, but a good delivery, good effort. But Kate McCabe had to be sure. Well, so much threat, even without Millie Bright, Chelsea, right from set pieces. This time Arsenal make first contact. Perise there ahead of Blackstenius. Here is Kerr. Perise will keep it alive. Kerr. Ingle. Cleared away by Beattie. And the throw goes the way of Arsenal. Bit of a scramble in that box. Cuffett. Mielder. Here is McCabe. Cuffett's there. Two real fighters miscue though. McCabe in quickly. I think Erin Cuthbert just completely missed the ball there. Well, no think about it. She completely missed the ball. But this is definitely a brighter start from Arsenal. Ruben Moyes clearance. Here is Pelova. Oh, 
Oh, lovely skill from Pelova. Oh, dangerous delivery and off the bar from Ford. Arsenal rattling the woodwork and warning signs for Chelsea. This game is not over yet. Not at all. Great delivery, really put some power and pace on that. Um, came really quick to Catelyn Ford. Couldn't do a lot about it, but managed to connect and saved by the crossbar. Awesome. But what a fantastic delivery from Pavlova. Really whipped it in. The slightest touch by a defender or your own teammate. Generally, you got a chance of scoring. Raffaele with a look over her shoulder. Right and lurking. Sinsberger takes the touch. Leonard Simonim. Space for Palova. Arsenal are ticking in this second half. Moritz. Vubenmoy. Playing with a lot more confidence, Arsenal getting those wing backs higher up the pitch, which is causing Chelsea now a bit of a problem. Here is Moritz. Well, he has praised the resilience of his side this season. If it's a value, he says, it's not a choice, it's who you are, it's who we are. And they're showing resilience in this second half, Arsenal. But they need a goal. over Raffaele for dispossessed by Cuthbert Raffaele has it once again you mentioned that in the first half hope Raffaele just getting forward a little bit more from that back three and she is doing that yeah which in turn pushes your wing back on to play higher which in turn overloads Chelsea's back line um, which means you've got a better chance of getting out it means Chelsea get stretched at the back you know the likes of Lauren James and Guru Wright and end up having to do a bit more defending Leonard Simonin won't keep hold of it Kerr Wrighton and this is the payoff for Chelsea can they stretch Arsenal's back line good challenge by BC but they have to take that risk Arsenal absolutely and credit there to Jen BT been a great servant for this club. Great to see her playing more regularly, albeit because of Arsenal's injuries, but it's done so well since she's been playing. Yes, and it is due to her performances, or partly so, that you know he could play the two with Rafael and Wibbermoy and go for the four, but BT is important in that three. Ford. Dangerous ball. McCabe and Blackstenius can't make contact. And Charles brings it away for Chelsea. You have a player down at the edge of their six yard box. It's Ericsson. And Chelsea, perhaps, will be grateful for a breather. Yeah, Arsenal doing really well here. A lot of pressure on Lauren James. Perhaps she needs to release it a bit quicker. Catelyn Ford in those 1v1. Again, a willing runner. Great whipped in cross. Nobody at the back post. But. They make advances, good advances in the final third. Now they've just got to find somebody on the end of it. And it's interesting, after that ball plays through, Kate McCabe is higher up the pitch, which means they retain possession from a throw. Now they are here in their numbers at this packed Kings Meadow, the Arsenal fans. Cheering on his side, and there's one of them just for the occasion as well. That is Enzo, the service dog of Yasmin. Makey wakey, Enzo. It's a good game. Your team look as though they might get back into it. Who brings a dog to a football match?
Oh, she's up and ready to re-enter the field of play. Here come Arsenal again. Blackstenius. Raffaelli. Leonard Simone. McCabe went for goal. Well, we've seen a score from there. But they don't need to force it, Arsenal. They're playing some good stuff in this second half. Yeah, they are. They look like a completely different team here. Kate McCabe again. You know, looks up, no pressure. Strikes a good ball. Scored from that range before, why not? But definitely Arsenal are definitely more like the Arsenal we know. Play more on the front foot, higher up, players joining in high. They're playing with a lot more confidence and possessing the ball so much better. And Catley and that little tweak tactically, getting the wing backs forward more has made a difference. Catley off Mielder. It's all defending at the moment for Chelsea. Height up from the back for Arsenal. Big punch by Berger. It will fall to McKay. Oh, big shout for Hampel. And it's given. Well, Ingle is down. She's clutching her side. But that was such a huge shout. Yeah, from up here as well. It did look like a handball to me, but Ingle clutching her, her stomach, her side. But Kate McCabe absolutely screamed her head off for a penalty. And, and credit, credit to Arsenal, they've earned this. Here comes the ball. Kate McCabe keeping her eye on it. Definitely a handball. Yep, it's the underside of her arm, definitely a handball for me. And you know, that, that's what I think Arsenal deserve. They've come out in the second half, a different team, playing on the front foot. Well, you're always taking a risk when you jump like that. And Katie McCabe, captain on the day, takes responsibility. She missed a penalty against Leicester three games ago. Can she get Arsenal back into this match? against Chelsea. It's McCabe against Berger. And McCabe drags it wide. And is that Arsenal's faint, faint hopes of the title gone? Is that their chance of getting back into this match gone as well? She hit that with pace with her laces, swung across it too much. Well wide of the goal, actually. Yeah, that, that is a, a miss. She will be really unhappy with that. Now it's a test of her character and her strength. They've got to get Arsenal back into the game. She's got to do her utmost to get them back in the game. Some afternoons, things just don't go your way. Listen, it's a brave player that steps up to take a penalty under pressurised conditions. You know, they go in sometimes and sometimes they don't. And she's certainly no stranger to taking penalties, Katie McKay. But again, you just think if it's Kim Little fit, Kim Little on the pitch, she's taking that. Yeah, definitely. Blackstenius, though. Just about holding on to it. Cleared away by Mielder. Arsenal deserve a goal they will feel for this second half performance. And Leonard Simornum draws a good save from Berger. And anywhere will do for Mara Mielder and Chelsea. They're still not out of this, Arsenal. No, I don't think so. You know, they look a bit more like the Arsenal we know.
They're certainly having a go. I think the wing backs pushing up high have made such a difference. Here's the strike coming up, coming up, connects with it with the laces so well, but that is a good save by Berger. Well, Emma Hayes has seen enough from her side in this second half. She's making a change because they're under the cosh. Lauren James is coming off and Jess Carter is coming on. And it's credit to Arsenal that they force this change. Absolutely. Recognise that, you know, Arsenal are, are finding ways through in that final third, going a little bit more defensive. Looks like Neve Charles is coming out to the right and playing higher up and Carter going to the left side. The more natural defender. Neve Charles, we know, can play higher up as well. Chelsea wants a free kick. Amy Ferns is play on. Axenia swings the header. Ingle away. Raffaelli, intelligent. Different Arsenal in every way in the second half. Absolutely. Sometimes the game is just about confidence. I think they've had more ball possession in the last 15 minutes than they had in the entire first half. Also with her first touch. There'll be a few more of those before the game is out. That's what she's been brought on to do. Just stop those Arsenal attacks down the right-hand side. There she is again. Away by Ingle. Raffaelli. Here is Catley. Leonard Simonin. Ford, who looks so bright every time she's on the ball, Caitlin Ford. Well defended yeah. against Catley, but Arsenal keep up the pressure. Yeah, Ford is a high energy player, a willing runner, full of energy. Done a lot in this game. Really trying to drive Arsenal forward. Sam Kerr with first contacts, Pelova back in, Ingle away. She's there again, Sophie Ingle. Chatley, space for Leonard some morning. And Berger watches it and watches it all the way. Yeah, a lot of joy on this left side for Arsenal. Again, probably not the delivery she, she wanted. Try to whip it round. And just uh, by her standards, not her best delivery. But it's much better from Arsenal. You know, certainly Raphael is getting higher up than she did in the first half. McCabe higher up. I think the substitutions allowed them to play a bit more in Chelsea's final third. They really need a goal now. And it's uh, the penalty miss. Could be a big, big part of this game. And a big, big part of this season. Particularly for Arsenal's Champions League hopes. They are leaving the door open as it stands for Manchester City. But here goes Caitlin Ford. Still going forward. So as it stands, midway through this second half, Chelsea five points clear of Manchester United, who play Manchester City this evening. That means if Chelsea see out this victory, Manchester United must win tonight, or the title is Chelsea's. If Manchester City could win this evening as well as giving the title to Chelsea. They would draw level on points with Arsenal in the race 
for the Champions League places with one game to play. Here goes Luxtenius. It's tame in the end for Berger. And it's looking at the final games that all four teams have as well, isn't it, Hope? Chelsea away to Reading. Manchester United away to Liverpool. Manchester City home to Everton. Arsenal with the most difficult on paper, home to Aston Villa. Yeah, that's a difficult one for Arsenal. So, you know, they really need to get themselves back in this game. Um, Chelsea, you could argue, get going against Reading. Look to be struggling. They've got the easier game. Um, but there's still a lot to play for, not just for the champions. It's about Champions League as well. Man United, Man City tonight is a massive game. Raffaele there. Peniel Harder away, clipped her instead of the ball. And actually, we haven't seen much of Chelsea in Arsenal's defensive third. And that, again, is credit to Arsenal. But we've seen the danger, the havoc that they can create from set pieces. Their second goal came from a position at the other end of the pitch, very much like this. It will be Wrighton to send it in again. It will be Kerr to win the header. And it's almost Ingle that time who converts. Almost a carbon copy of the Magdalena Eriksson goal. Here go Arsenal McCabe evading Cuthbert just about. Now taking on Mielder. Blue shirts getting back. The red one's arriving. Here's Ford. Pullova. Well defended by Jess Carter. Lovely ball by Ford. Great ball. Great ball touch by Pullova. As well. Wrighton. Kerr. Chelsea just grateful for a little spell of possession. Yeah, I think uh, that shows how well Arsenal have done. But Chelsea know they can just keep possession, make it difficult for Arsenal. If they've got the ball, Arsenal haven't. They're in control. Well, they haven't always been defensively flawless this season, Chelsea, but they have not conceded more than twice in a WSL match since January 2019. This is a tall order for Arsenal. But they've shown in the second half they're capable of getting a goal back. They've squandered a huge chance from the penalty spot. They don't come much bigger. They've hit the bar as well through this woman, Caitlin Ford. Both her and Carter are going down and belatedly the free kick goes the way of Chelsea. Yeah, good defending again by Jess Carter. There, here's the penalty again. Strikes it with the laces, pulls it wide and obviously, you know, that, that's a big miss for Arsenal. Big miss. But, you know, they're still in it. They're showing some character. Well, the two penalties that Arsenal have scored against Chelsea this season were scored by that woman you saw there, Kim Little. As Charles goes from range, straight forward for Zinsberger. But that's it, it's a miss all round, Kim Little. Those no specific moments as well. Cuthbert there ahead of McCabe. Chelsea clawing their way back into this in terms of the balance of play. They have the two goal advantage. 20 minutes to play. Yeah, Chelsea are in no rush. They're firmly in the driving seat. Arsenal have got to come out and try and win the ball higher up. When they do that, it exposes them slightly behind. Wrighton. Dispossessed by Vuben Moy. Cuthbert eventually comes away with it. Pullover, shoulder barges Cuthbert. Tell you what, that's not easy to do. 
Good strength from Pulova. Catley. Raffaelli. Leonard Simonim. Carter there. Reading that ball from Beatty so well. Pillover. Lovely turn. Ford's delivery. Almost took out the cameraman. That's a couple of times now that those uh, deliveries from wide areas haven't hit the mark. Got to do better in that final third with that final ball. And another change for Chelsea. Vanilla Harder making way. And a chance for her to say goodbye to this home crowd at Kings Meadow. Like Magdalena Eriksson, she will leave in the summer when her contract expires. But she has been a huge part, a huge part of Chelsea's success over the last three years. Fantastic player. What a servant she's been for this club. Um, you know, certainly we, we saw a lot of her in, in the, the cup final. We had a bit of an injury, injury uh, bled season. Nice to see her back on the pitch and a great player. I think she'll be missed, definitely. She is replaced by Jesse Fleming, the Canadian international. As Perisay is there ahead of Catley. I think Jesse Fleming will sit slightly deeper, perhaps, than Pernil Harder. Um, we'll probably see uh, Sam Kersal with that lone striker run in the line. Not a bad substitution though, Jesse Fleming, talent. Change for Arsenal as well. Stina Blackstenius making way for Jodie Taylor. Taylor who is still looking for her first Arsenal goal since returning to the club in March. She was another who struggled with injury during her spell at Arsenal, but 10 goals and 17 appearances a few years ago. Yeah, prolific goal scorer. Black Stenius probably hasn't had the service or found the space to get on the ball enough this afternoon. A couple of big chances in the first half, not able to take them. Here goes Ford. She'll go for the curler. And Berger is there. I think you could see what she was trying to do there. Does really well to roll Perise. Just tries to curl it. Perhaps not enough whip on it. To the keeper's left side. Too easy. Not enough power and pace. Beatty said it. Forward by Ingle. Chelsea won't mind if this becomes scrappy. All they need to do is see it out. And it's over to you, Manchester United, who, a reminder, must win, if Chelsea do, to take the WSL title race down to the final day. Free kick Arsenal, though. They're not giving this up. And that's credit to them, particularly after missing the penalty in the second half, because it's easy to see teams crumble. Yeah, they've showed a lot of character, I think, um, you know, even before the, the penalty miss. But here, Jodie Taylor trying to spin Perise. Perise catches her. And, and Arsenal get themselves a free kick. But yeah, as I was saying, they've shown a lot of character. Arsenal, heads didn't drop after the, the penalty miss, as you say. Um, but I think the substitution, Catley coming on, has made a big difference.
So play temporarily stops while the officials make sure that everything's all right in the crowd. So a brief respite for the players. So we very much hope that everything is okay. Yeah, it gives the players a chance to uh, regroup. They've got to refocus now. Looks like the play is going to go ahead now. So free kick to Arsenal. Cat Lee and Leonardson warn them over this. It will be Leonardson warn them. Those deliveries too often in this second half from good positions for Arsenal haven't been accurate enough. No, not good enough, um, you know, by their standards, you, you know, the opportunities to get in that final third, whether it's a dead ball or through open play, the final ball, the final delivery has got to be a better against a very good defensive Chelsea side if you want to give yourself a chance of scoring. Ruben Moy miscued. Sinsberger had to be out quickly ahead of Wrighton. He was fooled. Moritz fell over. Raffaele. Ford. Catley. Raffaele, Leonard Simonim, Ruben Moy, starting to really commit the numbers forward now Arsenal, here is Ruben Moy once more, Raffaele, Catley, Leonard to Mornham. Catley hadn't continued the run. And the seconds tick away. Yeah, again, it's that, that final ball. Got to be a little bit more precise. Has got to be more precise, in fact. Well, all the action tonight on the women's football show on BBC One. You might see a title wrapped up if it stays like this. The WSL final day live next Saturday. Do join us. We'll be where the key action is, wherever that is, after all the results have come in at the end of today. And you can listen to that huge Manchester derby that could decide the destiny of the WSL title this evening on Five Sports Extra. Coverage begins at 6.30. So Noel Moritz has come off and Lena Hurtig, back from injury, is on. And without... Turning to Gio or the teenagers on the bench for Arsenal. That's really the only other substitution they can make in terms of an attacking change as they look to get back into this. No Mead, of course, still no Miedemar to go with Williamson, Little, Wienroy, Servalti. Huge players out and it's credit to Arsenal that they have stayed in contention for this title and for the Champions League as well both them and Chelsea going out in the semi-finals for so long this season yeah huge credit I must say um, you know Kim Little there you know out what what a player what a leader she is for this Arsenal side she is hugely missed been a been brilliant this season brilliant midfielder dictates the play um, Arsenal haven't got the depth in their squad due to injuries been difficult for them but you, you know they're still there or thereabouts you know, but credit to Chelsea, they're in control, they're winning 2-0. Arsenal have to come at them. So they can afford to sit back and soak up the pressure and play a big part of their game, which is getting the opposition on transitions. Here is Raffaele. Nice layoff by Ford to Pelova. Taylor, nice touch. Not too far away, flag is up, wouldn't have counted. But a reminder, even at this later stage in her career, 37 she turned on Wednesday, Jodie Taylor. But almost showing that precision that we've seen for so many years from her. Yeah, 
Good bit of build-up play from Arsenal. Again, try to wrap it into the top left corner of the goalkeeper. Just not enough bend on it. But if you don't shoot, you don't score. Raffaele. Catley. Here goes Ford up against Perise. Good run by Ford. Cleared away by Mielder. Comes right back to Caitlin Ford. Pull over. Chelsea get the bodies in the way and bring it away with Ingle. Charles. Fleming. Kerr. Holds a run. Keeps it in as well. No surprise, perhaps, that the blue shirts aren't flooding forward in numbers. They're doing enough, Chelsea. They are moving five points clear. And Manchester United, if it stays like this, must win this evening or Chelsea will win the title tonight. Yeah, and Chelsea at this moment in control with that two-goal margin. You know, they're probably not playing with the intensity and the pace and the purpose they did in the first 45. They don't need to. Arsenal have got to come at them. You know, so they'll just wait. Time for another Chelsea change. Ev Perisay is the player coming off. And waiting to come on, Kadisha Buchanan, recently back from injury herself. Nice to see her back again. But Perisay, I think uh, Caitlin Ford has Turned her inside out a few times. Had a really good game, Caitlin Ford, especially the second half. So again, just to looking to tighten it up a bit at the back. And this will see Chelsea match up Arsenal and go to a three at the back as well. So Carter and Charles playing as wing backs. Buchanan, Mielder and Eriksson now the back three. As Chelsea get the decision over on the far side. Yeah, they're having a discussion, sorry, in the middle of the park, Chelsea, just, just to organise themselves so they understand who's playing where. And who's going forward for this set piece and exactly what they're going to do with it. I would wager the first thing is to perhaps take their time. They have sent Ericsson forwards. I think Gurry's just putting the note in her sock. <laughs> right in with the delivery. Cuthbert, good hit. Won't latch onto it a second time. Here is Cuthbert. Ericsson. Feel for handball by Hertig, not given. Here is Cuthbert. Given away by Carter. Lax to Taylor. Hertig in support. Still going Hertig into Ericsson. Corner. Yeah, given away a bit cheaply there. Allowed Arsenal to transition and end up with a corner.
everybody back for Chelsea. Arsenal take the corner short. Good save, Berger. Arsenal not giving up. That's a good strike. Berger watches it well through bodies. So Catley with the corner. This time it goes into the mixer. Berger didn't get the best contact on it. Arsenal trying to keep it alive. Pelova came back off Pelova. And it will be a Chelsea goal kick. Yeah, right decision. Ball comes across. Just Carter lost her way there. Pavlova tries to connect and it came off her. So good decision by the referee. Another change for Arsenal. Gio is on. Beatty is off. Attacking change. And they have to go for it. Yeah, they have to. Gio has got a lot of pace. Looks like they've gone to a back four. Here comes Chelsea with Wrighton. Wins the corner. Well, this is where Chelsea wants Arsenal. They're almost there. Wrighton's there as the short option. Fleming will send it in. Kerr's up there. Cleared away by Raffaelli. Dipping, but not quite, from Guru Wrighton. Worth the effort. Good leap by Sam Kerr. Wins most things in a duel of heading. You know, drops nicely for Guru Wrighton. Just couldn't hit the target. Ingle putting Pullover under pressure. Here is Catley. Straight out of play. Well, she might have fired over there, Hope Powell, but she's had a very good game, Guru Wrighton, and she is your player of the match. Yeah, she is. I think she's done uh, particularly well, or did particularly well in, in the first half. You know, most of uh, Chelsea's chances, most of their build-up players come down the left-hand side. Um, her delivery on set pieces has been spot on. A um, bit quieter in this second half, but hasn't needed to do much, to be honest. Looks like they've won the game, but for me, player of the match. And almost feeding Sam Kerr. We're into five minutes of added time. And Chelsea looking to see this one out. They've withstood considerable Arsenal pressure in this second half. But the pressure will all be on Manchester United this evening. Brighton coming forward again. Raffaelli's there. Cuthbert. Arsenal just rocking late on. Carter. Not quite able to keep it in, Neve Charles. Chelsea look like they're back in control now. <laughs> Fleming, is there a flourish at the end for Chelsea? 
You can add some more away. Pullover. Hurting. Dispossessed by Ingle. Forward by Ericsson. Kerr. Delicate. Flags up. Yeah, good line by Arsenal. They've gone to four at the back, which has slightly disrupted them. It's taken them a bit of time to settle. For me, it's probably come a bit too late. Shout for handball, not given by referee Amy Fern. Chelsea lose it. Here is Catley. Charles. Ingle dispossessed. Here is Buchanan taking charge. Wrighton. Fleming. Stand up for the champions is what King's Meadow is singing. Well, they are the reigning champions, but they could be champions this evening. I think the most Manchester important... United don't win, they will be. Yeah, the most important thing is that they've done the job here today. If it stays like this, well in control in the first half, deserved lead, 2-0 up. They're in control, that's all they can do. Win their game and then the rest will take care of itself. And they will look at that match, even if Manchester United do win against Reading. Feel they're very capable of winning on the final day. Final flourish perhaps for Chelsea. And Zinsberger prevents the own goal from Vuben Moy. Almost creeping through the Arsenal defence right at the death. Yeah, good through ball. Unselfish play there by Jess Fleming. For me, she should have taken the shot. But looking to feed Sam Kerr. Really unselfish play. But the shot was there to be taken in truth. Well, she's praised them as hybrid monsters, Emma Hayes, ahead of this game. So adaptable between different ways of playing. And they've shown two different sides. A first half in which they dominated, a second half in which, helped by a missed penalty, it's fair to say from Arsenal, they've had to be resilient. Yeah, and they've shown that. I think uh, the depth in the Chelsea squad allows them to do that. Um, but in the first half, I think... It was said at half time, it's probably some of the best football they've played, been quite defensive, but in the first half, definitely they possessed the ball far greater than Arsenal. But in the second half, resilient defensively. Not quite, but she's almost got the whistle to her lips. Might be one last chance for Chelsea. Zinsberger out quickly. Job done for Chelsea. Over to you, Manchester United. Her side are on the brink and it could be decided this evening. And even if it's not, they will hold the advantage going into the final day. They're on the brink, Chelsea, of another title. They've beaten Arsenal by two goals to nil. Yeah, and well deserved. I think they were completely dominant in the first half throughout, played most of the game in, in uh, Arsenal's half. Arsenal left it all too late to try and come back from two goals behind in the second half, but credit must go to Arsenal. They played so much better in the second half. Energy, confidence, unfortunate that they missed that penalty. But the winners here today, Chelsea go on the front foot. They're in control at this moment in time. Hugs all round on an emotional afternoon for those two women in particular, Magdalena Eriksson and Penilla Harder, who will leave the club in the summer. 
their last home game, what servants they've been and how fitting from a Chelsea perspective that Ericsson, the captain, was on the score sheet. For Arsenal, well, it leaves the door open for Manchester City to pull level with them later this evening in the race for the Champions League. But it's Chelsea's afternoon. They're on the verge of their sixth WSL title. And all thoughts now turn to Manchester. Full time at Kings Meadow. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 0.